Okay, today we're... Hi, where are you going? We got an antenna in and uh, trying to avoid the arena. So we're gonna ride him around here and see how he does. He's moving away. Boy. He is just backing up on his own. Okay, it's all right. So, let's go this way. Sometimes you gotta go with the flow. So he's still been antsy. And uh, there's a horse lunging up in the arena. That's why I was trying to go the other way, Tennyson. But you decided you wanted to go this way. So that's what he does. He uh, kind of jumps in place and would bolt. I have a, a fair amount of, well, I have a wonder bit in his mouth, in case you're wondering. And this also can be called a gag bit. And uh, so I want something enough to stop him because if, you know, if the horse is a bolter and you just have a little snap on its mouth, you're not going to be able to stop it very well. So. Good boy. Oh, so we just want to practice going slow. He always wants to go fast. I'm sure everybody ran him around and just gated him. And uh, we got to fix this problem, so we just got to get him to go slow, right? So... My idea was to go up and down this hill, but then they started lunging that horse over there, so we'll see how it goes. But he's going to be more comfortable around these horses than being all by himself. Now, he didn't see so well out of his right eye. You might have heard me say that before. So when I turn and stuff, I'm trying to turn himself. Good boy. He, uh, gets to look out of his left eye. He doesn't like stuff running up behind him. Good job, buddy. So we did all that desensitizing, which helped, but it didn't make it go away. Because we got to do some stuff under saddle. So every time he's trying to go forward and get faster, I'm trying to stop him. But then he doesn't want to stand still here. Good job, buddy. Okay. So I just asked for a little bit. You got to start somewhere. So I'll just get him to stand for a little bit and then, uh, you know, and then walk off again. Okay, so now he's trying to speed up again. So we're going to stop. And then we're going to turn. Somewhere along the way, he was taught to do a turn on the forehand and those maneuvers, but he's very scared when he does them. You know, and I don't know why that is, but... You know, maybe they did it fast with him. I have no idea. So there he just kind of, he wanted to jump forward. Good job. Good job, buddy. See how he's leaving? Good job. So he's more comfortable when his feet are moving. He doesn't like to go slow or stand still, at least not at this barn. And this is a very active barn. So there he just jumped forward again. Boy. So now we're going to turn a little early because that guy's doing stuff with that lunging horse. Good job. See, still a little antsy. Now some of the ones that are on go all the time, it's because Somebody rode them really fast and they think that's what they're supposed to do. Some of them are just goey horses. Thanks, Raina. So when he hears noises, that sometimes makes him bolt too. And Raina's over there banging the round pen. Oh, I'm just trying to give him some things to do with his brain. Just try to stay relaxed. Good job. Now we're going to go back.
back down. Now he sped up. So every time he speeds up, I'm trying to stop him. Works with some, not with others. He's, there he was going to bolt. You got to have uh, lots of tools in your boxes because each horse is different. So even when you watch my video, something will work with one horse and it won't work with another one. So I'll, I'll try and do something different. Okay. So if you try something and you do it for a while and it's not working, well then you can uh, try something else. Hmm. Those guys are cute. Licky face. Okay. But this is much better than the first time I was outside the arena. He was dragging me all over the place and we were with another horse. So he's braver. Uh, oh, it's nice. I'm the one who has all the green horses and then they come in my car. Right? To do all the screwy stuff. Go somewhere else in the arena. <laughs> Tennyson's like, you should go somewhere else. We are Tennyson. He tried to bolt again. Okay. I'm trying to do this where it's somewhat safe. Do you want to eat some grass? Huh? Well, it's all right. over by Raina. I'm trying to get him to eat some grass. I want him to know that somebody can be up here and he can just relax and be okay and they're not constantly doing something. He spooked at the poop. Oh, there's your friend Raina. Raina's like, yeah, get me some. So see, he wouldn't stand, now he's standing. He's eating grass, but he's standing, so that's a plus. So I still got my rein short, just in case he does take off. You're always trying to end on a good note. You're trying to get the point across, but sometimes you can only do little bits. If you do too much, it's way too much for their brain, especially if they've been abused or something. Rain is like, so that's how I get grass? Hmm. Okay. So I got my rein long, but I'm ready to yank it up and grab it if I need to. Like that. It's good practice to practice moving your reins around so you get better at shortening them up quick. <clears throat> he didn't like coughing either, so here I have to cough. <clears throat> <coughs> 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 So if I cough, sneezed, made any noises up here, he just wanted to run from them. So that's much better. <coughs> and all I did was ride around coughing and sneezing. Chew. Chew. 
Achoo. And I did stuff like that just so he got used to someone doing that stuff up here. Okay, but I think you get the idea. So we're just going to do this for a bit and then I'm going to get off. So I'm just making me being on him a good thing and not a bad thing.